everyone, it's Diane here from Deco Easy. Jenny and I are super happy that you stopped by to watch our channel. If you want to see our next decor video, our daily decor video, then keep on watching. Hey everyone, it's Diane here with a new DIY for you today. I'm going to make something out of the well-known Jenga blocks, those wooden game tumble blocks. Uh, this is a package that I got from a Christmas hamper and I totally forgot that I had it, so that was quite a surprise. First, open it up. And of course, I just cut my nails. So this is a very annoying sticker to open up. There we go. Let's see what is inside, because I have the idea that it's a black one and a blank wooden one. Yeah, I think that is correct. With the dice. Now, of course, I'm going to use the black ones for later use. Let me grab a set of scissors. That will be easier. And you can make the most amazing things out of this stuff. Jenny uses it also. She ordered hers from, I believe it was Amazon. And again, blocks like this, where you can perfectly craft with. I'm going to get it there. Because I want to make something for the spring or summer season. You can use both. Um, and that will be, how large is this? Five centimeters, two and a half. Yeah, that is actually not as long as I thought it would be because I want to make some sort of card idea. Then I think this is better. Glue them together like this, and then again here and there, and that will be number one. section on the on only one side of the cart and then we move over to the other section or maybe on the bottom and it's also a good idea to use some tumbling blocks there yeah i think this looks cuter also easier to glue yeah i think i'm going to do that i have the glue gun here already and it is super easy to do so you just Start gluing the blocks one by one. Oops, this is a bit too much of glue. Then we need to wipe away the excess part. And to press it gently. Hold for a few seconds because this glue doesn't cool down, at least in my opinion, doesn't glue down, uh, cool down that easy. And I hope you can gently Cut away, or you just use a small knife for that. So there will be the excess glue. Now it is done. I'm going to continue and glue myself a complete cart. This is the one side of the card. I'm going to make an identical one on the other side. Okay, here we go again.
side parts are done. There we are. And we need to make a connection here in between. And we're going to do it by, oops, this, or maybe just use several blocks this way. Because then you get a better size, I think. Maybe four is the ideal trick, or just three. It's hard to say. out we'll see what Hermitage does for us I think just a big oops Ooh, there goes everything that's because I put the heater my blow dryer upon this covering mat so not everything is completely straight anymore as you can see yeah then I'm going to press three blocks together with the glue and then I'm going, going to glue them in between here step this is the front this is the back and these are the side parts gluing everything together just like so so it become one big piece i think i'm going to do that on this part because this here is the flattest part of everywhere I pressed a little bit too hard and this one fell off, so re-glue that. Sorry, card. Here I have the base of the card. Now I need the bottom of the card. I think I'm going to use some cardboard for that. And I also need some wheels, and therefore I have these wooden slices here that are from AliExpress. Jenny always orders them in large numbers, so yeah, she lent me these to craft with. So I'm glad for that. Thanks, Jenny. Um, I'm going to cut myself a piece of cardboard that is suitable for getting it on this side. And uh, yeah, maybe it's better that I first start gluing everything. Uh, or gluing, painting everything. I think that's a better idea. We have the bottom of a cardboard part from the box where there was some milk in. Now just draw around the silhouette with a pencil. And I know that I can cut inside there. Put it upside down and I'm going to pour some glue on the blocks. Time to paint the card, therefore I use this brown acrylic paint and that small brush. 
Card is almost dry but of course it also needs some wheels so therefore I have of course the wooden slices and some blackboard paint also from action um, almost everything you see here comes from action only not the blocks and not the wooden slices the brushes are from action really everything is from action Time to assemble the cart. I'm going to turn it over and uh, yeah, I think doing this is the best way. Okay, the card is assembled, looks like a cute market fence. Now I have some lemons here and some greenery and some more greenery. Um, these were from a garden center and really these things are more than 20 years old or something. Um, yeah, they were on sale. Sorry for the noise, very annoying plastic. Well, there we have our lemons. I think it's cute to put some um, greenery in there. Here and there, not too much. I'm going to add some here and there. I really don't know what looks cutest, so I have to try that out. I think this looks very festive or festive spring summery. Together with this, a more, diff more diverse color. There we go. I think now I have a really cute part already. Super sweet. As you can see, this DIY is pretty simple to make. Here, I also put some greenery for finishing a realistic touch. And also there, 
in between of the lemons are, is some more greenery. Now let us know in the comment section what you think of this cute DIY. So that was it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Jenny, I'm really happy that you stopped by here on our Decor Easy channel. If you want to stay tuned of what we make, then hit the subscribe and also the bell button so you get a notification when we upload something new. Thank you so much for watching and we wish you a nice day. Bye everyone! <laughs>